Hey, Billy Nitro, back with another one, The Walk and Talk, episode 23, case 1978 red letter pocket knives, one of 1,000. Well, here we are, guys. I've been promising this video, and I finally got them polished up, so we're going to get to this. If you would, uh, take a look at the link in uh, the comments uh, if you'd like to help support the channel and help us go on a um, spider oh, back up. spider crawling help us uh, get a uh, camera and whatnot we need a camera so we need some help with some donations if you would I would greatly appreciate it so without further ado let's get to this you see, collector's case. Open her up. This thing's too big to fit on the camera where I've got it here. You see a big wooden box here. And here we go. There they are. Ching. We'll set this right over here to the side and uh, we'll get to it here. Okay, I've got them set up now. Here we go. We're gonna start this out. And I will drop these the the tang stamps in the uh, description, so you can. And I will I will drop them in the description in order, so you can look these knives up if you want to. So here we go. The first one. We got seven to go, or six more to go after this one. We got the standard trapper. Beautiful sandbar stag. Look at that. 78 1978 sandbar stag there it is beautiful knife you give a look around her here Come on, now focus in Get some good focus going beautiful knife let's go there's the tang stamp on there here's her Number there, SSP it's on the spade blade, big beautiful clip blade there, very nice knife. There's our spade blade, a lint on it. These are uh, kind of uh, brushed stainless. I believe Case refers to this, this as as ground. But it's brushed basically. Beautiful knife. So there's our trapper, the big dog. Here's one of my favorites right here. The stockman. Look at that clip. That clip is beautiful. There it is. There's our tang stamp. This is an original collection. Some of these knives you'll see out there, some people have went and bought the each individual knife and made their own collection. And they usually don't have the wooden box to go with it. So some of these you'll see out there for sale when you see them are not actual uh, ones of the uh, production release of the original 1,000 they weren't very many there's under 15,000 of each of these knives released I do believe beautiful stag you'll see kind of a trend with the front stag and then the back usually a little rougher on the back all the transitions are beautiful on these there's some it has got a little gap in it here and there but it's, it's Beautiful fat stag. And this one right here, I'm gonna tell you, this little sucker here is sharp. Uh, my finger can prove that. That's why I had to delay this video. This one snapped closed on me, and I had to pull it off my finger. It was it was deep. It's healed up now, but it was deep. It took that's why it took me 
quite a bit of time to polish these up because I had to wait on my hand to heal. There is the muskrat. This is probably one of the most expensive ones out of the set. I think this one looks for upwards of upwards of 250 for this one right here. Muskrat and check out this tang stamp on it. Genstag. Muskrat SSP. No numbers on it, nothing. Just Genstag. Very cool. That is the muskrat. Get it in frame here. It's like a big old bull horns. I love the muskrats. These are all good and snappy knives. I would like to go through each one of them, but that would be quite a bit of time. Here's another favorite, Texas Jack. I believe this one is one of my top, probably my favorite out of the whole collection. I like that, that Stockman, but this one is just sweet. Look how fat that is. Clip blade on it there. This is, let's get you the numbers on this one. Well, I can't hardly see these, there they are. Looks like it got a little double stamped. Maybe that makes this one worth a little more. Look at that big fat stag. Very sweet. And this one, I believe this is just a dog leg jack. It's the only name I can find on this one. Dog leg jack. Focus in. There we go. Like I said, these numbers will be in the description if you want to look these up. See if you can find them on eBay. There's still a couple of single ones out there, reasonably priced. Very sweet knife. I'm hoping I'm giving you guys a good look at these. I'm just trying to kind of go through them quick. This is the Senator pen knife. This is another cool one right here. Gonna polish this one a little better. A little pin blades on it. This one don't have much snap. It's it's pretty tight. There's our tang stamp. That's a sweet little knife right there. I really like it. Check that stag out on it. Fat stag. I love that fat stag. Here she is. Now, the peanut. Here we go with the peanut. Another cool one. Serpentine pattern. I love this little peanut, man. I, I love them all. I, I, I have to admit, I love them all. Cl little clip blade on it. That stag on their back right there. Fat stag, too. Look, check that out. Got a little gap right there. Hey, they, these, these knives turned 40 years old this year, so. All cases, or all uh, badges are pinned. That's something you don't get out of cases nowadays. That's why I really don't buy new cases. I think the 70s, the 60s and 70s, some of the best case knives made. Some may argue with the 50s and 40s, but I really like the 70s. I can tell you of sharpening another one knife from the 70s and it's stainless. This stuff gets sharp. It just seems quite a bit different than what you get nowadays. I love these old vintage ones. Focus in now. Very nice. 
guys. All right, guys, I believe that's going to wrap this video up, give you a little quick look on again. There's the trapper. Big fat stag. There's the trapper. There's the stockman. Man, I love that blade. Look at that. Red letter scroll. If you're kind of new to these case knives, check out the 1977 or yeah, 1977 knives too. They got the their blue blue scroll they're very sweet too they're actually more they're definitely more expensive than these in terms of value they're very cool so muskrat checks his jack look at that that knife is just look at that that's just a beautiful knife right there look at that beautiful Love that knife. I will. I wanted to carry this knife so much. It, it's it's crazy. Just I'd love to carry that. Look at that fat stag. Mm -mm -mm. Dog leg here. Very sweet. You know it's fat when I got to put the little finger notch in there. center her knife here but I, I, like I said I like them all these are some beauties I apologize for taking so long to get these on video I know some of you guys were itching to see them there we go we're gonna lock it up with the peanut here file it away there we go guys this video is a wrap um, we'll catch you on the next one I got some more case knives to show so possibly have some more 44's coming in so stay tuned and uh, catch me on the next one hillbilly over and out of here Peace.